Do you wish you could hit the ball long and straight like the PGA professionals? Well, we'll show you how to develop the perfect golf swing using your iPhone or Android device to analyze your swing using free software. After you videotape your swing, draw a box with the top of the box directly on the forehead and with the side of the box directly on the seat. Next, draw a line from the club shaft going through the belly and another line parallel to the club shaft plane that cuts through the shoulder. On the takeaway, the club head needs to follow the club plane line for the first couple of feet of the backswing. The next checkpoint is when the club intersects the hands. When this happens, the club should cover the hands so the hands are no longer visible. At this point, the toe of the club should be angled facing slightly towards the ground at the same angle as your back for the toe pointing towards the sky. In between these angles is acceptable. When the left arm is parallel to the ground, the left arm should be just inside the toe line. The butt of the club is pointing to the ball. At the top of the swing, the club shaft should be pointing straight down to the target line or slightly left of your target, and the club face should be at the same angle as your left arm. The right forearm should be vertical. I have added a picture of Tiger Woods where Tiger does a much better job of keeping his right forearm vertical at the top of the swing than Adam Scott. Also, you can see more clearly the club face is parallel to his left arm. With the driver, the elbow position will vary slightly from other clubs. Unfortunately, we did not have a video of Tiger Woods' swing. Another checkpoint at the top of the swing is to make sure the right leg is slightly flexed and the lower part of the leg or calf is straight up and down and the foot is flat on the ground with pressure felt on the inside of the right foot. If you draw a line from the hands down to the ground, the line should intersect at the ankles. To start the downswing, the left knee moves over to the left ankle which pulls the left arm down back to the parallel position, which is identical to the position when we discussed the backswing, where the left arm is just inside the toe line and the butt of the club is pointing at the ball line. The hands and wrists stay passive and relaxed. The right forearm or elbow is pointing at the right hip. The knees and hips are in line with the feet or parallel to the target line. When the club is parallel to the ground, the left hip is rotated towards the back of the lead foot where the hips are open to the target. The club head should be covering the hands exactly like the backswing, but in this picture, the club is behind the hands because he is playing a draw to get more distance. As you can see in this video clip, the ball flight starts towards the right of the house and draws left. Moving towards impact, the trail foot is still facing forward as it was at addressed, but is rolled to the target. The height of the heel depends on the club. With a wedge, the foot is mostly flat, but with a drive, as in the picture, the heel is higher. At impact, the hands return to the addressed position. If the swing is reversed back to setup, the arms and hands at addressed position and impact position should be at the same height. In this instance, the hands are a little high on impact. During the follow through, when the right arm is parallel to the ground, the right arm and club shaft are pointing straight down the target line. The toe of the club should be pointing straight up towards the sky. As the follow through continues, the club should exit through the left shoulder, splitting the left upper shoulder muscle in half. The club shaft is on the same plane line as the shoulders. Notice at this position, his left hip is still touching the box line on the left and top of his head is still touching the box line on the right. If the head and hips are not on the lines, then this is called early extension, which is a common problem. At finish, make sure the right foot is on its toe. Belly button is facing the target. The body is stacked on top of the left foot, and the club shaft is parallel to the upper line. 
If we draw a box around the hips and legs at address, the hips and legs should remain in the box at address, top of the swing, impact, and finish. The software we use to videotape and draw the boxes and lines is called Technique by Huddle. It is available for free on either iPhone or Android devices. When videotaping, we recommend using a tripod to ensure the camera is steady throughout the swing. Make sure the camera is set at the same height and directly behind the hands. We suggest using an alignment stick during the setup to help with positioning the camera. Thank you for watching the video. Please add your comments below since we will use your comments to continually make improvements to our videos. Stay tuned for part two where we will show you how to analyze your swing from the face on view. Remember, the more you practice, the luckier you get. Bye for now.